Good morning from our 80th country of Azerbaijan. We are currently standing on the balcony of our Airbnb. Ooh, that was loud. In Baku. <laughs> if you missed our last video, we just arrived on an overnight train from Tbilisi, Georgia, and we only have 24 hours here to explore Baku. So we are going to make the most of it and leave now starting with some lunch because it is 12 o'clock. Let's go. So we're taking the long way to lunch so that we can see more of the city. And this, it's just kind of like mind blowing for me. We've been in the Caucasus now for the past two weeks and this is totally different than anything else we've seen. Like there's hints of the Soviet past here, like you see some of like the old Soviet looking buildings, but then there's all of these like super modern, just like huge glass buildings. It's really crazy how much changed on one overnight train ride. We have made our way down to the waterfront. This is the Caspian Sea, and this city is just so cool so far. It reminds me of a combination of Istanbul and Dubai. I know that oil is a big deal here, so I think that's why they're able to make all these big, huge modern buildings, and you can actually smell it on the water right now. Like, instead of a salty sea breeze, it smells like oil. I'm sorry we're talking so much. I think we're just excited to be in this new city. And, by the way, we're on like the main area of the city right now on the water and we have no idea where all the people are. What's going on? We're still looking for lunch. Um, this? Mm. How do you say it? Hanyang. Hanyang. This restaurant is so cool. It's underground. I feel like we're eating in a cave and we have ordered two traditional meals. I don't know how to pronounce this first one, but it's basically a deconstructed dumpling. There's lamb, onions, and then the dough is on the bottom. Mm. The minced lamb is so tasty. Like my taste buds are doing a little dance right now and the dough is just perfection. It's beautiful. Thank you. This is called Shaw, Shaw Pilaf. When we ordered it from the waiter, he kind of looked at us funny and told us that it was going to take 40 minutes to come out. And we told him we didn't care. But we were super excited that they had it on the menu because we read that this is like a party food or a festival food. So we didn't know if they served it all the time or if it was only for festivals. It is basically a rice pilaf surrounded with this bread called lavash, and he just cut it all open for us and made it look beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is definitely the most expensive thing on the menu, but we figured we're only here for one day. We wanted to have this experience, and I'm not regretting it. I feel guilty right now. We had no clue when we ordered this that this was enough food for at least five people. It doesn't even look like we have touched it and we're both so full and we're going to try not to fall into food comas so we can continue exploring our one day here at Bucket. All right, our plans for the next couple hours are to walk around Fountain Square, which is like the main pedestrian area here in the city. And then after that, we're going to head to the old city. Turns out that Fountain Square was appropriately named. There are tons of fountains. Also, like all of the walking area around there is where all of like the international restaurants are, all of the shops. It's just like a super modern, really touristy feeling area. Now we're about to enter the old city. These 
are so cute here. So we've just spent the last hour or so getting lost in the alleyways of the Old City. And what we've learned so far is that the Old City was established in the 12th century, and it was actually the very first UNESCO World Heritage Site ever established here in Azerbaijan. So what's super interesting to me about the Old City is that it feels like one of the most touristy areas of Baku. But at the same time, as soon as you duck into one of the little alleyways, there's still tons of locals that live here. Hence the reason we We were in Turkey not too long ago, and somehow we went the entire trip and never got Turkish ice cream. And I was so sad when we realized on our very last day. I feel like we're close enough to Turkey right now, and there's a guy selling it here, and it is an experience that you shouldn't miss out on. So we're gonna get it. Hi. Oh. How are you? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm okay, thank you. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and limo. Chocolate. Yes, Samar. Galax, 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 don't panic, Kaka, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just paid a whopping one dollar to ride this funicular straight up the mountain to the top of the city and it drops you off right in front of the three iconic buildings called the Flame Towers. <laughs> to be completely honest, this is not at all where I thought we would end up when we got on the funicular. I figured it like took us up to a viewpoint, we were going to watch the sunset, but it turns out it just brings you up to a higher level of the city and the sunset's on the opposite side of the mountain. <laughs> But there's a really cool view of the city and there's tons of other things up here like beautiful buildings, monuments, it's really cool. So even though we can't watch like the sun itself actually set, <laughs> the city is still a beautiful golden orange color. by the water where we started today's vlog and all the people are here now. <laughs> I think we were just the only crazy ones earlier out here during the heat of the day. That is a wrap for our time here in Azerbaijan. I feel like we only scratched the touristy surface of Baku. But with that said, it's been an incredible day. The city surprised me so much and I would definitely love to spend more time here. But at the same time, I'm super excited to fly to Kazakhstan tomorrow. We're gonna make the most of it by starting with some food. Ow, sorry. I think this might be a plum. Oh, uh -oh. I'm gonna pit. It's really hot. And I kept the camera recording constantly. Kara's been getting <laughs> mad at me for shooting so many shots.